Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing us on how to make a monostrap dress. I'll be adding a rope at one side of the shoulder to tie with it and I'll also be adding ruffles at the down part of the dress. I have stretching material that I want to use for today's tutorial. I won't be adding a zipper to this dress. I will also be drafting the front and the back bodies together. I have three yards of fabric with me, but two yards of fabric is okay. So stick around with me as we move to the work table. I'll be using this plain material for the rope that I'm going to tie at one side of the shoulder. I'm going to put this aside for now. I've already folded my front and my back bodies into two. This is for my front and this is for my back. It is folded into two. To determine the amount of fabric you will need to fold, you will use the biggest circumference of your body measurement. Mine is my hip. My hip measurement is 52. Divided by four is 13 inches. I won't be needing any ease for this type because the material is stretchy. So I'll be needing one inch seam allowance to join the front bodies and the back bodies together which will now be 14 inches so you will fold your fabric into two and measure 14 inches i have about 15 inches here which is still okay i measure 14 inches then you will cut it out one for the front you will fold another one into two you will measure 14 inches and cut it out this is what I did here then the length of my dress is 45 inches but I'll be measure I'll be using 38 inches for the upper part of the dress while I'll be using the remaining inches for the ruffles that I'll be adding to the dress next thing to do is to insert all my vertical lines Shoulder to my waist is 17 inches. Shoulder to my hip line is 24 inches. I'll draw a straight line. The length of my upper dress is 38 inches. I will be needing half an inch to join with the ruffle, which will now be 38 and a half inches. So I'm going to measure 38. I'm going to measure 38 and a half inches. Thirty-eight and a half inches. And I'll draw into a straight line. My shoulder measurement is 17 inches, but because I am making a harmless dress, 
I'm not going to use exactly 17 inches. I'm going to minus 1.5 inches from my shoulder measurements, which will now give me 15.5 inches. 15.5 by 2 will give me 7 3 quarter. At the shoulder line, I'm going to measure 7 3 quarter. Reason is because it is armless dress that I'm making. If it's not armless dress, I'm going to use exactly my shoulder measurements. The next width that I'll be using is 4 inches. I'll be using neck depth of 6 inches. At the shoulder line, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. I'll connect from the one inch to the neck width. I am all curved. I'm going to connect my neck line. My hand all depth is 9 inches, but because I'm making armless dress, I'm not going to use exactly 9 inches. I'm going to use 8 inches. And also, the material is stretchy, so it won't be nice if I use 9 inches. 8 inches is okay. This is 8 inches. To help me determine the straight line, I'm going to measure what I have here. 7 3 quarter. I'll also measure it here. To get a straight line from my armhole depth, I'm going to connect to a straight line. First measurement is 45. 45 divided by 4 is 11 and a quarter. I'll move to my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches. I'll measure 10 inches at the waistline. I've moved, I'll move to the hip. My hip measurement is 52. 52 divided by 4 is 13 inches. I'll measure 13 inches. Then, I'll connect the lines together. From the bust to the waist, Then with my hip curve, I'm going to connect from the waist to the hip. I want the dress to be penciled towards the down. So I'm going to measure what I have here. I have 13 inches at 
my hip line, I'm going to be taking away 1.5 inches from the 13 inches, which will now give me 11 and a half inches. So I'm going to measure 11 and a half inches here. I'll be connecting from the hip line to the length of the dress. I will measure the arm order. I have 8 inches here. I will find the midpoint. The midpoint will be 4 inches. At the midpoint, I will go in by 3 quarter for the front arm hole. Then we, I'm going to cover out my arm hole shape. Then for the back arm hole, I'm going to connect from the midpoint to the bust. out I'm going to add half an inch seam allowance at the shoulder to join the front and the back bodies together at the side I'm going to add one inch seam allowance all through As you can see, I've already added my seam allowance to join the front and the back body. Next is to cut it out. I'm going to start cutting from the down part. I'm cutting the seam allowance. Then I'll cut the back hand hole first. If you notice, I did not cut the front neckline. And I, and I did not also mark for the back neckline because it is a monostrap dress. I'm going to show us how we we'll go about it. So I'm going to remove the back bodies and cut out the front arm hole. After cutting it out, you will open it up. You will place the front and the back bodies together. The positive side facing each other. Then I'm going to use my hip cuff to curve my neckline shape to call i'm going to use my hip curve to cover out the monostrap neckline shape i'm going to continue with this curve to my hand pit area just like this you place the hip curve you place the hip curve and continue with the shape to the hand pit area Take your time, the material is stretchy. Just like so. Then, after covering the neckline, then I will cut it out. Next is to cut out facing for the neckline. I'm tracing the facing for the back arm hole.
the shoulder area and the neck cut out the fabric that I'm going to use for the rope at one side of the shoulder. The length that I have here is 5 inches wide by 23 inches in length. You can decide to make it as wide as you like or as long as you like. This is the positive side of the fabric. This is the negative side of the fabric. I'm going to fold it like this. I will sew it in a slanted way, just like we did with this rope in my previous tutorial. I'll stop half an inch before the edge, then I will continue to sew it down with half an inch to the end, then I will turn it out. I'll do the same thing with this as well. This is the front bodies. This is the positive side of the front bodies. This is the facing for the front bodies. So I am placing the positive side, positive side together. Then I will take one rope. Then I'm going to place my rope here, just like this. I will make sure that the rope is facing the bodies. Then I'm going to take the facing. I will cover it up. The rope will now be in between the bodies and the facing. I'll cover it up like this. I'll take to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew half an inch all through. After sewing it, I'm going to notch it. Then I will top stitch. After top stitching, I'm going to flip it back. Then I will come and sew half an inch again on the armhole area. I will notch and also top stitch. I will do the same thing at the back bodies too. I've sewn the facing to the back bodies and the front bodies. I've notched and I've top stitch. This is the outcome of it. As you can see, it is very lovely our dress is taking shape gradually see the second one is very lovely I'm going to take to my table I will use steam iron I'll use it to iron it down to make the neckline flat and relaxed after doing that I'm going to place the front and the back bodies together like this. I will sew it at the shoulder. I will sew the side with one inch seam allowance that we left on it. I will sew this other side as well with one inch seam allowance that we left on it. Then I will now bring it back and show us how to add ruffle to the down part of the dress the dress is taking shape gradually we are almost done i can't wait to wrap this dress this is the rope that i'm going to use to tie at the shoulder then let's move to the down part for the ruffles for the ruffles what you will do is to measure the length you have at the down part i have 26 inches yeah, I'm going to double it 26 inches times 2 will give me 52 inches. So I'm going to make it 52 inches in width, then it's going to be 7 inches in length. That 7 inches, I'm going to add 1 inch to fold the hemming of the rope. Then the 52 inches that I'm going to cut, I'm going to Pleat it as you can see. This is how it looks like 
I pleated on it and I pin it down. This is the second one. I'm going to repeat the same thing at the back side of the dress. I notched the midpoint of the dress and I also notched the midpoint of the ruffle. I will pin it down midpoint to midpoint. Then I will start pleating. Then I will start pleating it like this. I will pin it down. I will fold it like this. And pleat it and pin it down as well. I'll continue with this process till I finish pleating on it. Then I'll take to my sewing machine, I'll sew it down with half an inch. After sewing it down with half an inch, then I will sew the sides. Then I will come and show us the final look. We've come to an end of today's tutorial. This is the final outcome of the dress. As you can see, it is very easy to make. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. I upload weekly tutorial on my channel and also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Follow me on Instagram at Otis Culture and join other like-minded fashion designers on our Facebook group, Seamstress Zone. Until I come your way next, please stay safe and remain blessed. Bye.